In Russia, our training is uh, comprised of uh, two main parts. Uh, training on the Soyuz and training on the Russian segment of the space station. Now, the most substantial part is the Soyuz training, because even though the flight on the Soyuz is really short when compared to the six months uh, of an expedition, uh, you, we use the Soyuz only to get to the station and come back from the station. However, it, it, it can be easily understood that it's a very critical time, launch and re-entry. So a lot of training is done uh, as, a, as a crew member of the Soyuz flight. We do all sorts of simulations. Uh, we do um, routine simulations, so where everything goes nominal and we just get used to the system of the Soyuz, on which we are trained initially on a uh, theoretic level. And then a lot of the training becomes emergency. That we have to be uh, fully capable of uh, performing any recovery necessary to save ourselves and the spacecraft and the crew uh, during the, the start and during the re-entry. Uh, it, it is very exciting, I am a pilot, so uh, being sitting inside the cockpit of a spacecraft and flying a spacecraft is extremely exciting and very, very realistic. Um, all the controllers are, are exactly the same, the computer that, that we use for uh, navigating the systems are exactly the same as the real spacecraft. Uh, we don't have motion, but it doesn't make a difference because in orbit we don't feel the motion. So the training in the Soyuz is 100% uh, realistic. Uh, we use real spacesuits uh, during our simulations and uh, it's probably one of the most exciting. The other training that we get on the Russian segment is more about routine operations. Uh, what, uh, what can be done, what can we uh, achieve while we are on the Russian part of the space station, uh, how to perform safely our daily operations, and then of course, again, emergency operations. The same ones that I talked before, fire, the pressurization of a toxic, toxic spill, uh, but this time when we are on the Russian sector.